Greetings mortals, I am Natus, one of the rulers of the underworld, specifically the ruler of Manga Hell. And today, we will be reacting to the newest chapter of Welcome to Demon School, Irumakun, chapter 254, titled, Declaration? I guess someone's going to have a declaration this chapter. Alright, uh, I, I would prefer a bit more of an excitement in the chapter, but fine, I guess we're going to have it. Although I feel like the declaration could also have been the title of the previous couple of chapters, but whatever. So anyways, then we have two feet stomping on the ground, as we see Sylvia and Zizi running, as I, like I thought they were nowhere near Subnock. So as they were Sylvia, we lost them, and our heart is still intact! And we see uh, Sylvia just holding it. Could I find out the beginning of the whole, you know, the whole, uh, war, the whole, uh, you know, the whole, this task, they were kind of just letting their hearts flow around, but here they actually, like, you know, keeping it safe, like, cover them with your bodies if you have to. So that's kind of funny, I'm now finally realizing that. Anyways, there's Zezza like running as he seems to be still shaking a bit, like, Indeed! A small stuff, I should be downstairs. Let's hurry and find him. Yes, let's go to a place where there's a bunch of fire, could probably destroy our balloon just by the sheer presence of it. Anyways, then we have uh, Ziva being there, as like, Senpai! And it was like, Something smells like it's burn! As it burn, as then he's like, we see like a shelf, everything being completely utterly burned to smell rings. Like, I'm not sure how the repairs are gonna function, but my god. Everything is burned to a crimson and crust. <laughs> Seriously, if the, even if the teachers don't get a thrashing by all the students, I feel like the sheer number of damage that's all over the place and that they participate in is more than enough to cause for all their destruction. Like, if, like, I'm pretty sure stone is burned right now. That's how much fire there has been used there. And then we have Silver and says and be like, Is this hell? Well, you are in hell, my dears. I'm not sure why you two thought you won in hell for a second there. And then we're like, oh, what, what the heck happened here? And then she's like, This looks like the aftermath of a fierce battle. And pretty much. Anyway, then from the rubble we have Zeza, well, as small as going up, you see, he's like all pissed and beaten, and he's like, uh, cough. And then we have, uh, as more like holding his head, like, that damn depraved teacher. And then we have Silva, and they come there, as, as, as Silva's like, as more as senpai, are you okay? As, uh, uh as, as more as like, yeah, looks like you're alright too. And this, and she's like, we are! And he's like, and the teacher? And then I was saying, he laughed. And she was like, huh? He did what? And then we have, uh, I was saying, with Operation SOS completed, he had no remote reason to fight. Or so he said. I mean, that is true. I mean, if he is like, I mean, there's no hearts to pop. And there's no real, like, real reason to try to prevent a small DS, uh, to, you know, there's no real Inter There's no like, reason to end the battle, continue the fight here. So it does make sense that he'll leave. And then I was saying, so he dropped a couple of fireballs on me and took off. As then we have that infant just saying, here, here, a souvenir, fireball. As he just makes a fireball, but throws them all over the place. As then says, like, that's. As then we see around the battle, you know, you know, as they, I guess, just like, wait, all this was just from the teacher throwing fire. I mean, to be fair, there was a rubber all in the floor, but you know what it's meant. As there we have, uh, I'm guessing Zizza and Sylvia are thinking themselves amazing as as much as looks around, looks back at there. As there we have, I, I actually feel like this might just be Sylvia saying to us, this demon really held a teacher at bay alone for 20 minutes all by himself to protect us? <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I guess they're shocked by the sheer power here. I mean, it's like, Finding out a teacher, even if a teacher is not, you know, going fully serious, is something that's very difficult. Like, they are still supposed to be extremely high level teachers here. So, I was there for a small break. You helped complete Operation SOS, and you made it back with a high intact. Got intact, guys. Well done! And there are both of them blushing a bit, as, as well as, like, this very, like, <laughs> girl's fantasies to shove him. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, there is uh, old blush. He's like, of course. And he's like, naturally. And then we have uh, the, uh, a smile. Like, whoa, whoa. 
You sure are lively. Well, it's a good thing you we you have energy left. The this exam is still inside a bit. I think I mean knows that, and he grabs Silver as he makes some fire to block the lightnings. And she's in her hands on. So she's making it herself. What is going on? I'm Cresselia. I'm Cresselia. It's not as mode as us. As there we have Osmos noticing the person who said I like thing. As there we can see this person approaching step by step. As we see this person is cargo. And she's like, hmm, nice block. And there Sarah uh, holding her, I was like, Cargo Sensei! As Osmos like, stand back. As there for Cargo be like, don't. And there was oh, there's like flinching a bit. As there have Cargo like walking, it's like You've already used up all your mana. If you try to summon your flames now, you'll lose, you'll collapse. As mom's like, Ugh, I guess he is not close to collapsing right now. And then we see uh, a small uh, color just like waving a bit as he seems to make himself a chair. He just sits down as a small like then notices that. As goes they're like, how was this your fight with Infreed? And they have all sales lecture time. Oh, now he's got to be lecturing. Previously, he was very well like a child trying to pop as many balloons as possible. Or eat all the candies and we all watch our reference. But now he's got to be an actual sales teacher. Well, it sure took you a while to do that. Then they have him saying, How does it feel to be crushed by someone whose flames are stronger than yours? What wa was it like to be beaten by your own speciality? Do you realize your arrogance, Asmodeus? As they always see a close up of Asmodeus, because he's doing the same thing as Infinite. But to be fair, he, Asmodeus did pretty well against him, honestly. Like, it's a teacher. If a teacher would honestly, if the teacher was defeated by a student in this form of matter, it would just be ridiculous and probably lose all respect. I mean, you guys are always losing respect as we speak, but still. Anyways, they would see uh, in Calico just saying, you still overestimate your strength, so you forgot to pace yourself and aim too high in your strat strategies. That's why you've wasted your mana like a fool, and now you've been driven into a corner and will invariably drop out. You are immature, as he starts pointing at it, he says, with all of that now beaten into your mind, can you still talk big and say that you want to be rank here? Actually, I think if you just wanted him to be rank Five because it actually makes sense in every single stance. Like you can say he doesn't deserve it, but if it's just every other respect, he should be. I mean, don't you people have like this higher rank uh, equals more status or something? As they see, uh, call as much as suspect with, I don't care. As they see both see uh, and this is looking at as as close as most like that's what I would have said in the past. As they see as most saying. Measurements of your worth are nothing more than an op the opinions of others. There's no value in pursuing them. I assume that since I'm outstanding, my rank would naturally go up. So he's like, I was, so it's much better saying, I, I would assume I would have if just gone up at, at some point. Then we see a shot of us, uh, Ilma and the rest of their friends as, as much as like, but as I watched all the demons close to me grow so much, I felt joy and excitement to s that sends shivers down my spine. Then we see us in three there as he's all saying, I discovered the thrill of knowing someone has higher hopes for me and frustration of facing an obstacle I couldn't overcome. That's why I prefer to, to in three. And then as well as standing there all you know, tall, it's like, right now I'm overwhelming with ambition. You ask if I want to rank up? Of course I do. And I want to rank higher than than chat being eight, aka higher than uh, Calico. As there we have us saying, no. so one day I can punch that face of yours that I hate so much. It's kind of a bit happy about that, it's fun. And honestly, I do see why as well. I want to punch Kong right now. And then I see all of and like, what? Is he seriously saying he wants to punch a teacher in the face right now? As there we have uh, Kong being like, hey, I'll keep that in mind. As then we have uh, a bunch of lightning cracking. And then we have both Zeze and as well as like uh, jumping on the Sil- well not jumping on Sil, like they're just making like a shield for Sylvia to like try to keep their heart from being blown. Makes me wonder, kinda weird how they're trying to protect her. Kinda, I don't wonder if it's actually gonna be a fallback on the whole fact point with Sylvia being, you know, able to handle a lot. He, she can take a beating. She says she did say that earlier. So anyways, there we have uh, both of them being like, ah. Uh, 
and Jeff Cargo will be like, I'll still have a long use. I still, as I was thinking of I still have a long way to go to, to go. As I was summoning server, Cargo summoning server as, and he's ready to take a strike. And then he just shine. And then we see a poof. As we see Yuma turning Cargo into a summoning Cargo and his like, baby server as. As they're all like a chibi cute form, as the servers also they'll be like, ah, I'm chi I'm cute! Stand up! And even the server is reacting at this moment. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so yeah, we have Buffy Senpai right now. <laughs> now I'm not sure if this is actually in the same area or is it somewhere else because you know, there's not like no good shot of demonstrate where they are. But I'm assuming that us. But I'm assuming that Kalago and Cerberus are wherever Jazz, Ilma, and the other Vaya and Cresselia are right now. As I'm just seeing, it's like, what? <laughs> Which actually this does make sense. Like, I was actually thinking this was gonna happen because, you know, it's Kalago. You are Ilma's familiar. You can't just be running around thinking Ilma's not gonna summon you. It kind of goes without saying. But I guess Yuma decided to summon him because, like, yeah, you're too much of a trouble. So I guess Yuma's not going to be using him against the teachers or something. Like, that would be actually hilarious if now Kalago is stuck fighting against the teachers. <laughs> and it's time it was on payback by the students, honestly. Actually, that would be hilarious. We have the Yuma just a, a te teacher showing up, and will be like, Kalago, send servers and beat the shit off him. A new teacher showing up. Kalago, send the servers and beat the shit off him. Kalago, Go, summon servers and beat the shit out of her. <laughs> like, that would just be hilarious, that's what happens now. Like, I couldn't even see, you know, Calico being like, What are you doing, you fucking idiot? How dare you just run me into this fluffy thing? <laughs> Even just like, We're at that contest and I have to win this, so you, so we are done with bullshit. Now do as I told you, you fucking idiot. <laughs> so, so this, like, I'm down here, he's gonna, he was gonna use the idiot part, but I really do feel like he's just gonna be using it here. Ah, so it does seem like Iwan was still shaking when he summoned Kalago, but still. So yeah, <laughs> end of chapter. Yeah, this chapter was honestly really fun, all things considered, and I I really like it. Especially the ending with it, where we just have uh, Kalago being summoned, which does make sense in my opinion. It's actually, why was he even put in there if he can be used? I mean, to be fair, he would have been able to be used against them regardless, but still. And honestly, I feel like at this point, some teachers are gonna just gonna get a uh, royal fucking punishment because, my god, this, that doesn't look like it will be paying right now. So, yeah, that's what's gonna happen next. Like I said, I feel like next should be an explanation on why Iuma summoned him, how he's planning on using Kalago, and for what it means. Hell, maybe it's gonna be Kalago, Chibi Kalago versus Bomb Fight. And that's how they're gonna be removing the two from the danger zone for the next couple of. I think 50 minutes or so, or however long the time period is right now. But yeah. Anyways, um, I hope you like my reaction. I hope you guys leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future. And with that said, I cannot wait to see all of you models, models next time. Goodbye.